Oh, hey, didn't see you there. You guys want to come see my boat? So I have a propane stove. I have two propane tanks that I keep under here. One day I'm envisioning this to be the back locker, so I'm picturing a top over it um, where I can keep. Like right now I keep my snorkel gear. Um, I need to leave the bottom clear because that's where the scuppers go for the cockpit to drain, but keep my fishing gear, snorkel gear, propane bottles here. Solar panels and wind vane, which is my primary self-steering. This thing is awesome. Sail through everything. 40 knots and doesn't really do well in lower winds. Alright, let's just go inside. So this is my redesigned galley. I love cooking and baking, so it's really important to me to have a good stove with an oven. So this guy has, I just made cookies today, this guy has a little oven. If you crank it all the way up to as hot as it goes, it's hot enough to bake cookies and pretty much do anything else. It's probably about 375. Um, I don't know what I'd use the lower settings for. Two burners, it's gimbaled, which is awesome. And then this is all new countertop. The old countertop was just old. And I put in a bigger sink before it had a round sink and it wasn't as deep. This I got at a marine salvage shop for 10 bucks. It was awesome. We have saltwater foot pump is here. I made the saltwater a foot pump because you're more aggressive with saltwater when you use it. Uh, whenever I wash dishes, they always get a f an initial salt water wash with soap and scrub and then I go to fresh water just to rinse them off briefly. Fresh water is this pump right here. Hand pump, little guy. This is, well, technically an ice box, but ice only lasts about 24 hours in here, so I don't put ice in it and I just use it as a vegetable box and I usually leave the lid like that so it gets air. And you know what? Vegetables survive pretty well without refrigeration. You just have to be choosy about which ones you pick. There are a lot of things that don't need to be refrigerated. Eggs, mayo, pretty much any condiments. Root vegetables, cabbage lasts amazing. Broccoli does not do well. And as long as you keep it dry and cool and out of the sun, you're probably going to have veggies for quite a while. It's surprising what you can get away with. Scary under the sink locker. Welcome to the main cabin. Don't get lost. There's a lot going on here, I know, but if you stick with me, everything's gonna be. I installed two fans that I found at a marine salvage store. They are two different colors, but that's fine. And so up here I keep charts and my wind vane paddle. You know, people talk about the hardships of living on a tiny boat, but I have been living out of a backpack for the past four years so to me this is incredible that not only do I have my own space and it's private no one else is going to poke around in it but I can have things like my favorite books all in one place and a stash of some food that I enjoy even though I cannot have chocolate bars for longer than a day because I will just eat them but it it just I don't feel like I don't have enough space. I feel like I have too much space, if anything. So under here we have fancy canned food and my root vegetables. Fancy canned food includes stuff like, you know, oysters, giant baked beans, how fancy is that? Uh, eggs, which almost never go bad. These are from a real chicken. Look how weirdly shaped they are. It's not like those store-bought chickens that you see these days. <laughs> A lot of these lockers are empty, I just don't really have anything to put in them. This one is where I keep all my gear, fall weather gear, cold weather gear, and socks. I'm not really sure why. Everything under here is tools, just regular boat tools that you might have on your boat. This, So this locker used to be, there was a counter with a sink and then lockers behind it. But I pulled the sink out and when I built the top of this locker, I put in uh, some leftover plexiglass from when I redid my port light, so the light shines into the locker. And Something I find really useful are these, um, it's a shower caddy, it had suction cups on it, but I took them off and just screwed it in, and I've used them all over my boat, they're really awesome for storing things. Around we have the head, this thing is enormous and I have not utilized the space well, but it's just because I don't need to. 
Here's my V berth. I've tried to make it super cozy. V berth is definitely the most comfortable place on the boat to hang out, in my opinion, because you have this huge four deck hatch and it just funnels the wind right through the whole boat. Over here we have control panels. So you can see how simple my electronics are. This is the original Danish panel, which is really cool. And then this guy, you can flip around and tell you what the different batteries are doing. Right now they're charging, which is good because it's sunny. I have a little USB charging port here. And then around this corner over by the banana hammock, I have my second set of controls. So a little inverter. This was to a car. So I snipped off the cigarette lighter plug and hardwired it into my boat. And then these control inverter, VHF, nav lights. Everything has little labels, but nothing is what the label says it is because this is an old panel off of an old boat. My engine is a single cylinder, 10 horse inboard diesel. Super simple little guy. My brother put this new alternator on it for me because the old one was fried. The big treat that I just got for myself is this VHF that has integrated AIS. It is so awesome. I have 50 gallons of water storage capacity on my boat. I have a 25 gallon tank in the V berth and a 25 gallon water bag in the quarter berth. I have 10 gallons for diesel and a five gallon jerry jug for diesel. My engine's tiny and that's really all that I need. I hardly run it at all. If I'm going over three and a half knots under sail power and I turn my engine on, it doesn't add anything. I've tried this before when I was trying to beat the sunset to get into a harbor and I was sailing four knots and I thought if I put the engine on, I could give myself an extra half a knot and anything. So the engine is just there for low wind and maneuvering situations. I have two deep cycle marine batteries that are stored underneath the quarter berth and those hold all the juice that I need for all my stuff. I have a really simple system. I just have LED cabin and running lights. I have two fans that I never run. Um, I have a couple really simple nav instruments, my VHF, depth and speed, wind indicator. That's pretty much it for that. The inverter is the biggest draw when I plug my laptop in and turn that thing on. That really sucks down a lot of juice. Also, with the AIS receive function on the VHF, it draws a lot of power when that thing is running, so I only run it when I'm trying to sleep, because then it'll ping me if there's a ship in the near vicinity. I have a sloop rigged boat, so I have a Marconi sail. Up here you'll see that I don't have roller frailing, actually the hang on jib. I have three jibs that I use, the Genoa working jib and a storm jib. These are the hawse holes that come up the anchor chain. This one I sealed off completely. Um, this one has my main anchor chain coming up through it. And I use a delta anchor primarily. Let's see. Ooh, the water is so beautiful. I have four through hulls, two under the sink and two for the head. So I have the saltwater intake that's teed off. Half of it goes to the raw water cooling for the engine. The other half I've diverted to my saltwater foot pump and then there's the sink drain. Everything is pretty simple on this boat. All the systems, when I got my boat, sorry, this anchorage is really rolly. Um, when I got my boat, I tore all the systems out and my dad helped me build them all up together. So I personally laid hands on every inch of wiring and plumbing and hose that is in this boat. So I know it all inside out and I have little diagrams that I've drawn just in case I forget, which I probably will because who wants to remember that sort of stuff? I hope this answered all your questions about systems that I have on my boat and how I run things. If you want to see any other specific things, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to include it in next week's video. Sweet! Thank you guys for watching!